Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, call Loyam La Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harachah Kodash. The honor star apostles, a great millstone who will wear the touch his truth. Peace, love, and blessings and salutations to your acumen part of the Bayasha, the Dada House of David. Um, all right, through the spirit, um, uh, I did a, a live stream yesterday, and I, I, quoted, a, I quoted a scripture, uh, Second Edges 4, it, uh, 27 i just wanted to bring it out through the spirit as a quick hit all right and probably get another scripture on top of that that adds up with it but basically um you know we want to get out of here through the spirit and probably how about we want to we want salvation we want esau edom all right to go down all right we want the real reparations which the real reparations is uh you negroes latinos and native americans uh captivity being turned back before your eyes let me actually get that real quick Right. And Lord willing, like always, this is edifying to the hope for the let. All right. Seven twenty-six. So, um, this is Zephaniah chapter three. I'm gonna start at nineteen. Oh, you know what? Let me start at eighteen. It says, "I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly, a solemn assembly, and a solemn assembly. All right, is the elect." All right, that is going to be uh, uh, beamed up into those ships. And who are the ones that are signed and crying for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof? The elect. Okay, according to Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. And also, too, when you go to um, Isaiah 60, the 62nd chapter, all right, it talks about the watchman not giving the Lord rest until he establish and make Jerusalem uh, a praise in the earth again. All right, so those that are sorrowful. All right, right now uh, is going to be the elect. All right, and the Lord is gathering them uh, to the to the solemn assembly. And how is He gathering them through the Word? And then the Lord is going to ultimately send the angels with a loud trumpet. All right, with the trumpet. All right, to gather the elect from the four winds. All right. It says, um, "Who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden? Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee." And I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. And we already know who that's talking about. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. But when is this going to happen? After specific prophecies come to pass, mainly the, the MOTB. And that's what I did the video on yesterday through the spirit because, yeah, it's June and there ain't no, no C-hip. But that prophecy is going to have to come to pass. See, a lot of these Israelites always talk about we're going to get delivered we're, but you got to talk about the events that's going to happen before that deliverance comes which the main one being all roads lead to the MOTB it says at that time will I bring you again even in a time uh, I gather you I will make you a name and praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes saith Yahweh so the Lord's going to literally when these prophecies start coming to pass, all right, he's going to do a strange acts and a strange works, but also too, all right, he's going to turn back our captivity before our eyes, all right? So I'm going to go to the scriptures I was going to get. Uh, this is 2nd Ezra 4 and, um, let me see, 37. By measure hath he measured the times. And how do you measure these times right now? All right, through prophecy, this happened. All right, now this got to happen. The, the, the first woe is passed, and the second woe is passed, and the third woe cometh quickly, which is World War I, II, and Three. All right, which we're on the brink, of course, of World War III uh, uh, popping off. Okay? It says, um, And by number hath he numbered the times, and he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. So that goes to show you that nothing can happen the lord can't do nothing until these things specific things come to pass so you got dudes talking about they want salvation they want this we want to get out well we got to wait for the prophecies to come to pass all right so i'm gonna read that again by measure hath he measured the times and by number hath he numbered the times and he doth not move nor stir them right so the lord these specific prophecies and specific times that they're appointed for the lord doesn't move them nor stir them that's why esau he can't he cannot upset prophecy no matter what he does 
which he which he tries to he tries to disrupt brothers at camps all right he tries to uh um what else man this devil is a fucking uh nut man you know he tries to do specific things change the times the seasons and all that but it doesn't matter because the lord doesn't move nor stir his prophecies all right it says until the said measure be fulfilled all right so let me go to uh isaiah 55 and 11 And the word of the Lord ain't going to turn, turn back unto him void. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 55, uh, verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, meaning empty. All these prophecies that the prophets have spoken of back in the ancient world. Remember, the Lord said that he declared the, uh, the end of from the beginning okay oh, let me see if i can find that so i can oh, i got my tablet in here it's probably in here let me let me try to find that it's not in there okay it's uh, like you bear with me one moment i have left it in the clothes car But um, bear with me, brothers. You know what? It's in the house. It is in the house. But um, like I was saying through the Spirit, the Lord has declared the uh, the end from the beginning. Okay, so that's prophecy. So it says, um, but it shall accomplish that which I please, because all ultimately these prophecies that are going to come to pass, all right, is what the Lord. Uh, is what the Lord uh, uh, is pleased in all right he made these specific prophecies and things you know for himself basically all right so it shall accomplish that which he pleases two-thirds getting jacked up the majority of this world is going to get that C hip all right the elect being tried as gold in the fire all right it says um and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it Right, so the word of the Lord or these prophecies ain't gonna come or return into the Lord void. All right, and it's gonna accomplish that which which he pleases, and it's gonna prosper into the thing that it is sent, just like the just like the word. All right, let me actually end it off with this. Just like um just like us teaching in a great awakening, all right. The Lord's word said that we were gonna wake up, all right, and great fear was gonna fall upon them that seen us. And it's not the truth prospering since the 1960s, since our uh, uh, older apostles woke up and been teaching. Look at how the truth is flourishing. Okay, it's budding. Okay. Uh, let me see. This is uh, this is what I'm ended off with. Um, Second Ezra six and twenty eight. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. In the truth which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared. And that's what's happening right now. The truth that have been so long without fruit is being declared. All right. How is it being declared? Lift thee up a banner. All right. In Babylon. And who is doing that? The prophets. Okay. The men that you see out there on the highways and byways. All right. Fighting every day. You know, their lives, man, throughout the week. You know, not just on the highways and byways, but that's who are declaring, all right, and, and lifting up a banner and waving the hand, okay? And call out Yahweh Bashim al Shai for that. So the, 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 the truth that have been so long without fruit is being declared. That's why videos go up daily. That's why Brothers is, is, is consistently on the highways and byways weekly, all right, in front of the masses. All right, not on the keyboard or, or, or click clicking, oh, you, you know, commenting. Brothers is out there through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. So the truth is flourishing. All right, and you brothers out there continue to keep doing what you're doing. All right, because these prophecies are going to come to pass, and a lot of these people out here are going to be dumbfounded. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Harachah Kodesh. 
That by honest our apostles, a great millstone, who rule where the title is truth, peace, love, and blessing, and salutations to you, Akim, that's part of the Bayasha, the house of David, to you, few sincere Akwaf, Shalom to you too. Hey, um, hey, man, hey, keep doing y'all thing, man. Shalom.